Dead People is Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So many people who get into daily intermittent fasting do so because they want to get the amazing weight loss benefits that it can provide you with. And as we know, anyone that gets into anything for weight loss, they want to speed up the results as fast as they possibly can to burn off any excess body fat that they want to shed off their own body. And if you're one of these people, I'd recommend watching this video from start to finish because I'm going to talk about some scientifically proven way that you can go in the direction to speed up your weight loss results as much as you possibly can with daily intermittent fasting combined with apple cider vinegar. And you want to make sure when you're getting apple cider vinegar and using it, there is raw unpasteurized organic apple cider vinegar with the mother, preferably in a glass bottle. Because if it's not in a glass bottle, such as the one that I've got in my hand, the apple cider vinegar, if it's in a plastic container, it will leach out the plastic substances and it contains something known as xenoestrogen, which is a chemical form of estrogen, and it will make your body start to increase estrogen production within the body and lower testosterone production and give you a whole host of unwanted other negative effects as well. And if it doesn't come under all those things I mentioned, like raw and organic, then it can just be a very unhealthy healthy pasteurized form of apple cider vinegar that will not give you the full weight loss benefits that I'm going to explain to you in this video that it gives you and the reasons why. But before I go into full details in that, I first want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor for this video and that is a clean machine that creates some of the cleanest fitness nutritional supplements out there such as this naturally flavoured clean BCAA which is one of the only ones that I've ever found that is naturally flavoured with no toxic preservatives or chemicals or additives or synthetic flavourings added to it and one of my other favorite by them is the cell block 80 which is scientifically proven to get your body increase free testosterone levels within the body and get rid of excess estrogen DHT and cortisol which is going to help you to get even greater weight loss benefits from whatever you're doing from weight loss and obviously the BCAA supplement if you don't already know is amazing for optimizing sports performance reducing your recovery time after training optimizing your energy levels and your muscle growth as well. So if they interest you, what I'm going to do is put a link down below for their website and a coupon code. And if you actually buy their Omega-3 supplement, including any bundle on their website, for this month only, they're giving 30% off your total order. But if you don't want the Ahahi flour, I'll put another coupon code down below that will give you 20% off and you can use all year round. So now back to the topic of the video. Apple cider vinegar is created through a specific fermentation process and during that fermentation process, yes, it creates the apple cider vinegar and it forms a component in it known as acetic acid, which is the thing that has been shown through scientific research to have multiple different different benefits that will speed up someone's weight loss results with daily intermittent fasting. And what I want to mention is you can consume this in the fastest state or in your eating window because one tablespoon only contains around three calories. So it will not increase insulin or blood sugar levels within the body which will keep you in a fasted state. And before I go into the scientific research, I know many people are obviously going to wonder how much should you be taking to get the greatest weight loss benefits when taking apple cider vinegar combined with intermittent fasting. So the simple answer is normally when you start taking apple cider vinegar you may want to start off with a teaspoon to two teaspoons in eight to sixteen ounces of water. Obviously when you put these two together, you mix them up thoroughly before consuming it. And the reason why you want to start off with a lower amount is it can induce some detoxification effects within you and make you not feel so good. But over a short period of time, you can increase it anywhere from one to three times a day. But be warned when you are consuming this that you do take into consideration that drinking apple cider vinegar can have a negative effect on your teeth due to it being quite acidic. So make sure after you consume this that you get a small amount of a water with about an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda in it and then swish this around in your mouth for around 30 to 60 seconds because baking soda is a 
very well known alkalizing remedy that will neutralize the acidity that has been due to the apple cider vinegar going. And this will make sure that it doesn't have a negative effect on your teeth whatsoever because there's a lot of people that do not tell people about this very important detail and then it can really destroy your teeth. So it's something that you make sure that you do every single time after drinking apple cider vinegar. And one thing for going to the science research, if you're someone that wants the best apple cider vinegar that comes under all the criteria that I've mentioned, what I'm gonna do is put links down below for US, UK and worldwide suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality raw organic unpasteurized apple cider vinegar in glass bottles to your door. So if you don't have access to them in your local area, you can use one of those links in the description of this video. And now onto the scientific evidence. And I wanna focus specifically upon six scientific studies that I have written down on my phone that I'm gonna read out to you now. And I'm obviously not gonna read out the whole entire scientific study for each one because this video will just go on and on and on and you're not gonna understand a lot of it. So I've just written a short paragraph from each study that have been done on the component that is found within apple cider vinegar, which is the acetic acid. The first one that I've got written down says, lowers blood sugar levels. In one rat study, acetic acid improved the ability of the liver and muscles to take up sugar from the blood, which is obviously a very good thing because that is one of the key things that you need to optimize weight loss with whatever you're going to be doing. And the second one is that it decreases insulin. And if you don't know what insulin is, insulin is a fat storage hormone. And intermittent fasting does lower insulin, but when you stack it up with the apple cider vinegar that has acetic acid in it, it's going to lower insulin even further, which is really, really good. And as it says, a bit more information on that. In the same rat study, acetic acid also reduced the ratio of insulin to glucose gone which might favor fat burning. Number three is it improves metabolism. Another study in rats exposed to acetic acid showed an increase in the enzyme AMPK which boosts fat burning and decreases fat and sugar production within the liver. Number four it reduces fat storage and what they found was treating obese diabetic rats with acetic acid or acetate protected them from weight gain and increased the expression of genes that reduce belly fat storage and liver fat. Number five, burns fat. A study in mice fed a high fat diet supplemented with acetic acid found a significant increase in the genes responsible for fat burning, which led to less body fat buildup. Last but not least, which I've heard so many people say I get this benefit from apple cider vinegar, is that it suppresses appetite. And a study suggests acetic acid may suppress centers in the brain that control appetite, which can lead to reduced food intake. And I can say now from my own personal experience of trying apple cider vinegar over the years, it's one of the best things that I have ever consumed to suppress my appetite. And obviously when you get appetite suppression, you're gonna eat way less calories. And as most people know, when you eat a lower amount of calories throughout the whole entire day, it's going to be pretty much impossible to gain fat and you're going to be more in what is known as a calorie deficit which is a very well known key factor to get the greatest weight loss benefits on any specific diet out there. And if you're someone that wants to read the full studies that I've talked about in a very short way in this video I'll put links down below for every single one. And then there's also a whole host of other benefits that you're going to get alongside the improved weight loss benefits with combining apple cider vinegar with daily intermittent fasting. It's also been proven to lower cholesterol levels, boost energy, improve people's mood, even lower blood pressure, improve symptoms such as PCOS. It also kills things such as harmful viruses and bacteria in the body and a whole host of other different benefits as well. So it's one of those things that I would call a holistic healing and health and weight improving remedy that really doesn't cost that much whatsoever. If anyone that also wants to add it into their everyday life in different ways, you could also use it on your meals throughout the day if you 
feel drawn to do that and you actually like the taste of it being added to your food. And one last thing I'd like to mention, it's one of those things that helps me keep a very low body fat percentage because I combine apple cider vinegar with weight loss. And as you can see, I definitely have got no excess body fat on me and I'm able to sustain this all year round. I feel really good at the same time. Rather than being on a lot of these extreme calorie restriction diets that can just make you feel awful, I'm all about sharing things with you that you can sustain over a long period of time so you can get the greatest weight loss benefits and go more in the direction of achieving the body that you desire. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about the information I shared with you today in full detail of why someone would definitely want to combine intermittent fasting with apple cider vinegar today. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific topics such as weight loss, intermittent fasting, extended water fasting, calisthenic workout progression videos, what I eat and what I do in a day videos, and many other different videos to teach you effective information that can actually give you results short term and long term natural and non-harmful very safe way so if this type of video sound good to you make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay healthy and go and get those gains peace